Well, I'm sure this is going to be fun. Check this crazy stuff out. Flicker, flicker, flicker. All right, it's got that going on here. What's the really crazy mystery? I got flickering going on the closet. Now, this should be a pretty simple issue. We got a three way switch here. There's a three way switch. And there's a three way switch there at the door. You know, you come in, you flip on your light, you walk through, you head to the hallway, then you flip it off. All right. But it, it should no way at all affect a crazy closet light. So, why is a closet light coming on? So, that is tonight's challenge to figure out what on earth is happening. And the other bizarre thing is when you flip this one, well, there it's all the way, that stays on there. So it's like it's, uh, we got some weird stuff happening here. All right, I'm going to put my thinking cap on, see if we can figure this out. All right, folks, the flick, flickering part was an easy fix. I replaced the three-way, no more flickering. And it's working properly like it should. Let me show you here, we've got two lights coming on over here. That's the way it's supposed to work. The weird thing is, still, every time I turn this on, you'll notice I got a closet light coming on. So I gotta figure out why is that? That can't be, so we gotta figure out what's going on. So I'm assuming, let's see, let me show you something. Okay, I'm gonna assume something here. Can you see the lights off now? I don't see, no power. Put this on. Okay, now we got power. The black wires got hot going up into the attic. So my assumption is someone's tapped into this wire for some reason to feed this receptacle here, or not receptacle, but the light switch, or this light. Don't know. I mean, the switch works. It's doing its job, but it should not be tied in with this three-way at all. It's really bizarre. So I'm gonna crawl up in the attic next, try to look through these wires. That's always gonna be fun. But I try to get my bearings. Like, see, I got a, got a vent there in the kitchen, so I'll come over about a foot or two. Uh, these wires should be coming up into into the attic. I can I can look up through there through the insulation and get my bearings. So let's climb up in the attic and see what we can find. All right, in the fun attic. Like I said, there's the vent. Come over here a couple of feet. There's my wires going down into the wall. There's this wire going over to the light fixture. That's the closet light. That's on. It shouldn't be on. Okay, so I'll follow this wire. Let's get turned around here. It's a tight squeeze. And that goes right here down into the wall. There's no splices anywhere, so that's kind of a good thing, I guess. I don't know, maybe it's not. But so now I gotta go back downstairs. I didn't find anything obvious up here that would be out of the normal. So let's go back downstairs and do some more digging. Maybe getting closer, I don't know. I did discover this receptacle over here is also switched. So when I flip this on and off. So actually we've got three receptacles, receptacles coming on and off. And just in case you don't know, if you look closely, where are we at here? So there's a little piece of copper that's been broken out. That, and when that's broken out, it kind of creates two receptacles in one. So with this upper, upper one, it's hot. Let me show you. Okay, so with this upper one, you see it's hot all the time. I flip off this light. The lower is now off but the upper is hot. So this one's hot, that one's colder. So that's how that works. And so, but something's been going on because you know normally they, they, they match, like both upper receptacles will be switched, but you notice the lower one is switched on this one, but over here, it's the upper one that's switched. And so somebody's been doing some wiring, changing stuff around. Something's got crossed somewhere, so the mystery is where. And then I also noticed on this one, this entire receptacle switch, both receptacles go on and off. So I'm going to dig into this receptacle and see what I can find. Okay, I'm burning up some brain cells on this, so I'm getting a little closer every step of the way. I don't think this is ever meant to be switched the way, because that little piece is not broken uh, to separate, to isolate the two different uh, upper and lower receptacles. And because you notice when I unplug this wire, you see the closet light is out. And if I touch it, oh, danger, sparks. So as soon as I touch that, now the light's back on the closet. So we're getting closer. So this should be powered all the time. It should not be switched. I got to find out how it got that way. 
So my assumption is originally when they built the house, this receptacle was just daisy chaining either out of that receptacle there or that receptacle. So now the, the trick is to find out exactly, trace that wire down from here to there and see what they've, they got something miswired causing all this crazy nonsense. So let's keep going. All right, so I discovered something. This receptacle here, this, this is our power wire coming into the living room. This feeds everything. So, because everything else is dead. This receptacle is dead, the light switches, everything else is dead. So power starts here and then starts jumping every which way. But I noticed they had this wire on this screw shared with the, the, the three-way wire, which doesn't make sense to me. I'm wondering, did they reverse these two wires here? Hmm, possibility. Let me do some more figuring, deciphering. All right, I guess it's time to start with the basics. So you see, I've taken the receptacle completely loose, got a pile of wires there. I got a big old pile, pile of wires here to deal with. And I got these wires here pulled out. So I've just yanked everything loose, just gonna start from scratch. Got these wires all loose. So I'm just gonna go wire by wire to figure out what's going on, what's been miswired, unwired. I don't know what's going on, but we're gonna to try to figure it out. All right, so here's my strategy. I'm gonna label every wire, because this is wire number one that comes from the power, comes from the breaker box. That's the first wire with power. Then I'm gonna wire it to number two, and that's gonna to jump to the next receptacle. Now I'm gonna just keep labeling the wires till I figure out what is what and where it's going where. All right, so you see what we're doing? I got this wire nutted together, so I know what power coming in, power going out, going somewhere else, we'll find out where it's going. Tie my neutrals together. I know this red wire, this is the wire that is switched that turns the receptacle on and off, at least half of it. The other half stays hot all the time with these wires. So let's go to the next receptacle. Okay, so here's number three. See, we've got power, then it will jump to number four. But at this moment in time, I need to figure out which red wire, because one of these red wires, I don't know what out of the two, goes over to the other receptacle. So momentarily, I'm gonna send 120 volts to this wire, and then this wire. I'll figure out which one it is, then, then I'll label it. Okay, now I've got it figured out. See how I've jumpered this? I'll put 120 volts to the red wire. Or one of the first one I tried wasn't right, so now I've got 120 volts to that wire, so I know which one is which. So now I can label that one. All right, the same way with my other red wire. It's got 120 volts here, 120 here, and I follow it up. I've got two red wires. I don't know which one it is. It's not that one. It's this one. So now I'll label this wire. That's going to be uh, we'll call it right hand receptacle. So I call I label this one LR for left hand receptacle. So I kind of know what's what. Okay, so now we got uh, six, oh no, we got four black wires up here. No power to any of them, don't know what does what. So same way again, I'm gonna jumper these together. All right, I think it's touching. And let's see, no power, no power, no power, power. Okay, we'll call that one number five. Okay, now we got these. I still got three black wires. I don't know where, what goes where, but I, this one here I noticed. When I touch that, as I touch that, it lights up that receptacle, powers that, and you see the closet, it's coming on too. So I found the, the circuit, the correct circuit that powers the closet, the, the mystery wire. So we got so we got that solved, and we're going to figure out these last two black wires, where they go and what they do. Okay, a mystery wire, this one here, I don't know where it's going. Uh, one thing that's different about it, the sheathing on the wire is gray in color back here instead of white like all the other ones. So I did see some gray wiring under the house, so let's go under the house and see if we can't find out where it's going. Okay, well, you see what a mess I got in this room. I found the mystery wire. It is right here. We got power. I'm going to jump under the house, find out where it goes. So, so you say you want to be a landlord. Well, this is part of the part of the fun stuff. So here's my wire. It actually goes out that vent, which is odd to me. I understand we should have one wire going out front to power the street light, but actually we got two wires going through the foundation. So here's another wire, but it has no power on it at all. So I'm going to follow this wire back back to that nasty hole, try to find out where it goes. That's while I'm, while I'm under here, me and the cave crickets, a lot of cave crickets. Okay, you see this? I found, I found one wire why it's, one wire why it's dead. There's no power on it. Of course, that was the original wire, I believe, that went to the front yard. And you can see here, that's where that goes. But that's some of I missed. I've got three wires heading out to the front. That's confusing. 
Uh, but one thing I did find, see, I think this has been added. See, someone's left a cluster of wire down here. I mean, they built this house. I if it was white. But anyway, you see there's a hole there just below the light switch by the front door. But here it looks a little scary. See all that burnt, melted, maybe a corrosion. I don't know what that is. But I'm going to dig that out a little bit and check it out. So we're making headway. Fun, fun. Wish you was here. All right, we're outside. We found it. We got hot, so we, we found the wire where that one goes. So I'll go label it now. Actually, it goes through, it goes through the yard, way out that way to the light pole. Oh, I imagine. Oops, that fell down. Okay, now for our last wire. I'm sending 120 volts out this wire, and I assume it's going to go over here to the other three-way switch. And it does. All right, so now I've got everything labeled. So these are our traveling wires called Travelers. That's our, that's our common. So now I got a better idea of what's going on. Now if I can just slowly wire that correctly, maybe I can get this figured out. I'm wondering though, I wonder if this light, uh, it's because I labeled it LP for light pole. And I'm wondering if it could be shorted out underground, cause me some back feeding weird issues. That's a possibility. All right, we got some progress, look here. So you walk in the door, Flip on this light, flip on the switch. To, yeah, see, see that it works. It's coming out that receptacle isn't working. So you walk through the living room, you're going down the hallway, you want to turn the light out in the living room, you flip this switch, and out it goes. And vice versa, you go back, flip it this way, comes on. So it's doing it. I got that that part solved. Still got a lot more wiring to do and address some other issues, but Three way is working, got that solved. I want to point out something to you. This scary stuff here, get some light on this subject. All right, see how this burnt stuff, how it should be a white, see how white that one is, that one's all black. That's what happens when you run uh, electric space heaters. Do not run electric space heaters, they're absolute fire hazard. You don't know what's going on behind your walls. Because uh, especially with these old connectors, where, where the wires just push in the back, if they don't get a really good connection, they generate a lot of heat. Uh, affecting this house, I'm going to replace every receptacle and every switch in it. And when I do, I'll, I'll screw them into the side. I do not trust those things, especially when you have a high amp draw. Very dangerous. If you do need a space heater, maybe, maybe run it on low, or if you find a dedicated circuit and know you're not, not running anything else. But absolutely don't leave one running when you're not, not around. So um, but I'm, I'm making progress. i still got to figure out this crazy uh, the light pole, I'm concerned about that. If it may be shorted out underground, I'm going to maybe do a resistance test on that wire against the neutral on the ground and see if I'm picking up any resistance at all. So we still got a little more work to do before it's all buttoned up. Oh, and for safety's sake, don't do like I do, monkeying with live power. I've been doing it for a while, and it's pretty stupid probably, but what do I know? I've just got a seventh grade education, so I'm just figuring this out as I go. But I'm no electrician by no means. I'm just kind of showing you my troubleshooting thought process, how I figure this stuff out. And so far, it's, it's working out. And so I'm not, uh, so tomorrow I'm going to get all new switches, new receptacles, so I can wire this up properly, get the screws on there, and do a little more troubleshooting, make sure everything works. So I think we're on the right track. Okay, I have confirmed my light pole does work. I, got a little, I just got the little wire right here. New C. On, off, on, off. It does work. So that's good to know. Well, another little test I'm doing is I'm measuring amp draw. I've got my wire hooked up to the lamp pole because I was concerned if that wire had any nicks or anything underground, it could be drawing amperage or leakage, or maybe leakage would be the word. I just disconnected. Anyway, I just, I've been testing it and I got no amp draw. So I'm making the assumption my wire going to the light pole is in good shape. It's not got any nicks underground causing any problems. Another quick test I'm performing. I'm in here at the pole light measuring voltage Just to make sure I don't have a voltage drop So from inside the house to, to out here to the pole everything's good Well, all peanut butter everything's working now everything's replaced got new, new three-way switch new light switch new receptacles So now when you walk into this house just like when it was built in 1979 you come in from work You flip on this switch here. It's going to turn on these two lights that one and that one because you have like if a couch here and two end tables this three-way will kick those lights on you walk through you head into the hallway go into the bedroom 
you're leaving the room, you want to turn the lights out, the next three away, the lights go out. There you go. So they're doing their job. And a bonus feature is now that light is not going on and off like it was before. That was the thing that drove me crazy, how, why I was getting powered in the stupid closet. And then I, of course, changed the receptacles, got them working right. You see the top half, it has power all the time, 24-7 power. This one is switched, the lower half. That's why those lights go out. But the upper, the upper half stays on. So everything's working, and you'll notice I did not push in the wires on the back side, like these crazy things here, you know, you shove them in the back. I don't do that stuff. I, I use the screws on the side, because all these will get replaced eventually. You can see here how they are screwed to the side, and then that little tab is broke off, so it isolates the switch so from the upper to the lower. So everything is working like it's supposed to. Remember the trouble spot was trying to figure, you know, the flickering initially was just the... Uh, the three-way that was pretty easy to figure out but tracking down that the, the power wire that was feeding that closet that was the big great mystery so that took a few minutes to figure out you know dissecting everything finding the first power wire so it started there and it went to this receptacle went up to this receptacle so the problem was up here that there's so many there's a cluster of wires and one of the power wires is supposed to just feed this receptacle then from the receptacle over to the closet just on all the time. Then you got the switch loop on the switch that breaks the, the feed to the closet light. But somebody in the past tied that wire into this three-way. So that's how that was all messed up. Oh, also you can see it, it fixed the pole light down there. It works because it's on the same circuit. And also the light here on the front porch, it's doing its thing. So everything is wired up, ready to go. Can't remember if I mentioned or not. Also, I, I do when I whenever I make these connections, I I didn't show it, but I do turn off the breaker, turn off the power to it. So, be smart. You know, don't be afraid of electricity, but respect it. And you know, so you can figure this stuff out if you watch a few YouTube videos and be careful about it. Just understand a little bit how electricity flows throughout your house, and change change this stuff and fix it up yourself. It was quite the mystery. So, but I kind of enjoyed it actually. It was, it was a head scratcher. I knew I'd figure it out eventually. I probably spent about six hours on this project. So uh, I got a whoops. So well, on to the next project. I've only got 219 to go. So thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. See you. Bye.